Today I'm going to share with you some of my Montessori inspired activities for children 2 to 5 years old. These are Christmas activities and we're going to be using some of the things that you may already have around the house like wrapping paper, some bows, some gift boxes, and toys and blocks. So the first activity would be a literacy activity. I would pick one or two books to read for the day. Um, Macy's Christmas Tree is one of my favorites. So we would read the book and introduce vocabulary. Tree, candy cane, lights. We would read about the first Christmas, the nativity, and we would talk about Baby Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and so on. For this activity, I created this printable. I'll link it below. So what you can do with this is introduce vocabulary. I printed two, and this one I cut up into cards. So what we're going to do is match the pictures snowman. I added a little bit of Velcro and so they can match the pictures and tree and so on. Another thing that you can do, I laminated the cards, I punched a hole here, and I put the cards in this binder ring. So what we're going to do, I'm going to say the word, this is a vocabulary building activity, I'm going to say elf, and then my grandson would repeat elf, present, candy cane, and so on. Good job. Another thing that you can do with your flashcards is match them. I have some objects over here and we're going to match our cards and our objects. Another thing that you can do, we can have, use our blocks and we're going to do a beginning letter sound activity. Elf, e, e, elf, present, Santa, and so on. Or you can use magnetic letters, candy cane, k, k, candy cane, and so on. I also created this printable. I'll link it below. These are, this is the Holy Family. It's the angel, Mary, the baby, and Joseph. I have the cards, and what we're gonna do is match the cards. Angel, Mary, and so on. Or if you have the nativity, the little people nativity, we can match the toys. Baby, Mary, Daniel, 
This next activity is a shape review activity. I am using some gift boxes that I recycled. I went ahead and put the name here with Velcro. So this is rectangle, circle, and square. And e inside each box, I put items, like for the rectangle, there's items that are shaped like a rectangle. I'll show you how this works. So we're gonna look in our box and see what we have. Oh, look, that's shaped like a rectangle. What else do we have in here? Oh, rectangle. That is also a rectangle. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the circle. Oh, circle. What else do we have in here? That's a circle. Circle. That's a circle. And so on. Okay, so now we're going to look at the square box. Square. That's a square. Square. and so on. This next activity is a beginning letter sound activity. I created this printable and I'll link it below. I am going to be using magnetic letters, but you can use magnetic letters or blocks or whatever you have available. So what we're gonna do is match the letter D. B, and so on. For this next activity, I'm using this cookie tray from Dollar Tree and a piece of wrapping paper. I just taped it here. And we're going to decorate our gift using some little bows. I put some magnets in the back. So what our child is going to do is just decorate the present using the little bows. I also have some little ornaments and so we're just going to put those. You can use pom-poms or whatever you have. This is a fun activity and we're using things that we may already have around the house like <clears throat> the wrapping paper, bows, the cookie sheet. This next activity is a shadow matching activity. You can do this with whatever items you have around the house. These are some little toys. I just uh, trace them and then you just color in. So this is gonna be the shadow. I'm using these little wooden toys. So we're going to match our little object with its shadow. You can see this is the little gingerbread house, a little circle, snowflake, and the present. This next activity is a shape matching activity. I created, created this printable. I'll link it below. So what we're gonna do is we're going to match the shapes. I put a little bit of Velcro. So all we do is match our shapes, circle, rectangle, and so on.
This next activity is a number quantity activity. I created this printable and I'll link it below. Up here, you can use magnetic numbers. I'm using numbers from a puzzle, so I'm going to put the number 10. I'm using some little mini erasers. These are from Target, from their $1 bin. And so we're going to count all the way up to 10. 1, 2, and so on. All the way to 10. What a fun way to just learn our numbers and number quantity. This next activity is a tracing activity. I created this printable. I'm going to link it below. All we're going to do is we're going to trace the lines, the little elf, all the way to the sled. We're just going to trace our lines. Tracing is a pre-writing activity. This is a fun way to just learn to hold the marker, and to trace the lines. This next activity is a letter tracing activity. I'm using this tray that I already had. I'm using some sand from Dollar Tree. It comes in a little package like this. You pay a dollar. And today we're going to trace the letter T. So what we're going to do, we just trace we go down and then across. T. I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.